The dynamic mechanism in Mathematica has a great deal of depth and sophistication behind it, but the presentation to the user is actually quite simple and straightforward. Um, let's take a look at how dynamic works and how it differs from ordinary output. So, supposing you were doing a, a simple Mathematica session, you might assign a variable and then ask for its value, and you would see um, the value that you assigned. If you change the value by assigning a new number to it um, and ask for its value again, you'll see that the value has changed. But of course, the old value back here uh, has not changed. This is providing sort of a historical record of what A used to be um, before you changed it, which is a fine thing. It's very useful, and sometimes it's exactly what you want. In fact, often it's exactly what you want. Uh, Dynamic provides a completely different kind of output. So. Uh, if we say instead of just evaluating A, we evaluate dynamic of A, the result of that, the first time you evaluate it, is always going to be, uh, it's going to look exactly the same as if you just evaluated A. It's showing you the current value of A. The difference is that if we now go and change the value of A to something else, you'll see that the dynamic output has immediately changed to represent the new current value of A. And in fact, no matter what we assigned to A, uh, that output will always track its current value. The mandate of dynamic is that what you see on the screen should always be what you would see if you were to reevaluate the expression right now, which would be current updated value. Uh, and this works even if you assign something maybe completely different. So if we make the value of A be, instead of a number, uh, a plot like this, and evaluate that, uh, sure enough, the dynamic output changes to now become a plot, because that's the value of A. So uh, another thing you can do is to use dynamics in conjunction with control objects. So for example, uh, let's reset A and now um, generate a slider, which is connected to the value of A dynamically. So we now have um, a slider object. Here is our old uh, dynamic output. If we move the slider, we'll see that that value changes. Um, the slider is connected um, in both directions to the value of A. If we go back and reevaluate this, we'll see it moves the slider back, as well as changing what you see here. Um, and basically, you know, the rule is that when you move the slider, the value of A changes, and in order to fulfill its mandate, dynamic needs to change its appearance here, and that's how you get this kind of linkage. Um, dynamic is not restricted to displaying just the value of a simple uh, variable name like that. You can put any expression you like inside of dynamic. For example, we could put a plot expression inside of dynamic, and in this case we're going to use the variable a uh, inside of this dynamic plot. Evaluate that. We now have a plot whose um, whose shape is determined by the value of A. And so, of course, if we move this slider, we'll see that the plot changes. That's what dynamic does. It, it shows you what would happen if you were to reevaluate this. And it does that for absolutely any kind of an expression that you like.